ओम शांति अव्यक्त बाप दादा मुरली डेट ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर ओरिजिनल डेट एटीन जनवरी नाइनटीन नाइन्टी एट इन ऑर्डर टू सर्व अदर्स विथ अ करेंट ऑफ लाइट एंड माइट साकाश बिकम फ्री फ्रॉम अटैचमेंट एंड हैव अनलिमिटेड डिस इंटरेस्ट दिस डे इज अ स्पेशल डे ऑफ लव From Amrit Vela, children from all directions have been offering love from their hearts to Bab Dada. The garlands of all the children's pearls of love were continually being placed around Bab Dada's neck. On this day, no one sighed. There were garlands of pearls of love, and on the other side, there were garlands of sweet complaints too. However, Baba saw this year that the complaints were different. Previously, the complaints were, "You should have taken us with us. You should have taken us with you." We didn't receive sustenance from the sakar form. This year, the majority of complaints came from those who wanted to become equal to the father and go to Baba. The majority had very good zeal and enthusiasm to become equal. Their desire to become equal is very deep. let me become equal to you and come to you this was the thought that many children had in their heart to heart conversations bab dada also says to the children may you become equal may you become complete may you be perfect The way to become this for all time is very easy. The easiest way is to remain constantly merged in the ocean of love, just as you were merged in love today. Did you remember anything else? Did you remember anyone other than Bab Dada? While sitting and walking, you remain. merged in love what did you remember while you were walking and moving around brahma baba's divine activities and his image his image was in front of you and his divine activities were in your awareness all of you specially experienced this love today did you not Did you find it difficult? It was easy. Was it not? Love is such a power that it makes you forget everything else. You neither remember your body nor the bodily world. Love frees you from the laboring. Love free you from laboring. where there is love there is no labor love easily and constantly enables you to experience bab dada's hand over you love becomes a canopy of protection and enables you to conquer maya no matter how big a mountain of problems there may be love makes that mountain as light as water so you know how to remain merged in love do you not you experienced this by remaining merged in love today did you not did you remember anything else you didn't didn't did you there was nothing but baba baba and baba 
you remain absorbed in the love of one so bab dada says make no effort other than that of remaining merged in the ocean of love so do you know how to remain merged sometimes children merge in the ocean of love but they only remain merged for a short time and then come out again one moment they say baba sweet baba lovely baba and the next moment as soon as they come out of the ocean they become engrossed in other matters it is just like someone taking a dip in an ocean they merge in love take a dip and then come out remain merged the power of love will then easily free you from everything else the experience of love at the beginning of brahmin life made you into brahmins love brought about transformation you do remember the experience at the start of your present birth you received knowledge and were taught yoga but it was love that attracted you and made you belong to the father if you constantly maintain the power of love you become free from laboring for all time in case you are celebrating this year as the year of freedom therefore become free from laboring the way to do this is to remain merged in love all of you have the experience of love do you not or do you not have this experience if any of you were asked who was the most who has the most love for bab dada each of you would raise your hand and say i do every one raise your hands raise your hands silent hands raise your silent hands not your noisy ones bab dada is telling all of you today constantly use the power of love for every task it is easy is it not you have yoga to forget your bodies to forget the bodily world and to become conquerors of maya when you remain under the canopy of protection of love maya cannot come under the canopy of protection of love when you come out of the ocean of love maya sees you and makes you belong to her so do not come out of the ocean but remain constantly merged someone who has love for another would not forget the one that he loves no matter what task he may be carrying out that one would perform every task while remaining lost in love so just as you remain lost in love today are you not also able to remain constantly absorbed in love love easily makes you equal because to become like the one you love is not difficult you have love for father brahma in your hearts father brahma also has deep love for you children he constantly makes each and every child emerge and give them a special current of light sakash to make them equal in his past life knowing the value of each jewel 
he would use a particular jewel for a special piece of jewelry in the same way even now he constantly considers using particular jewels with their specialities for special tasks he constantly sings wah wah for the speciality of each one wah my invaluable gem jewel my invaluable jewel many children wonder what father brahma does in the subtle region they ask we are doing service here but what does father brahma do in the subtle region how the father says just as he was always with the children in the sakar form similarly he now stays in the subtle region he stays with the children there too he is not alone the father doesn't enjoy himself without the children just as the children are not able to think of anything without the father similarly the father too cannot think of anything without the children he does not stay there alone he stays with you very few children were able to experience his company in the corporeal form now in the subtle form he constantly fulfills the responsibility of companionship with every child at a whatever time they want and whenever they want in the pictures krishna has been shown with each and every gopi that is a memorial of this time now through his avyakta form he fulfills the responsibility of companionship with every child no matter what time of the day or night it may be even if it is 2 am or 2:30 am in the sakar form he would only visit the center sometimes now however he goes in his avyakta form to visit pure households too what else does the father have to do he has to make you children equal and take you back with him this is what he has to do what else does he have to do so remains busy doing this so today bab dada is specially giving you children the blessing of becoming free from laboring this confluence age is the age for becoming free from laboring it is the age for experiencing pleasure and enjoyment if there is labor there cannot be enjoyment this is the only age where souls enjoy a celebration with the supreme soul it is a age for experiencing the love of the soul with the supreme soul it is a age for celebrating a meeting so have the determination to become free from laboring from today you will become free will you not however it shouldn't be that you raise your hand here but that when you return home you ask what can i do how can i do this bab dada has a full file of each of the children's determined thoughts sometimes bab dada looks at the children's files you have repeatedly had determined thoughts have you not from the moment you took birth up to now how many times have you thought i will do this 
or i will do that however you have not yet fulfilled that thought you have very good heart to heart conversations and you also please bab dada just as you impress the students you also impress bab dada however the impact of that determined thought only lasts for some time it does not stay for all time bab dada's file are constantly increasing whenever there is a function a letter of promise is added to bab dada's file this is why bab dada is not making you to write anything even today all of you had a thought but for how long will it last the father sees how long the letters remain in the files when you children become equal to the father the file will come to an end and everything will become final at present there are many files so simply remain absorbed in love do not come out of the ocean of love you have deep love for father brahma in your hearts and so it is not difficult to follow the one you love for love you say when there is love one even sacrifices one's life bab dada is not asking you to sacrifice your lives instead of that sacrifice the old world fix a final date for this you fix dates for other functions the 20th the 24th so when will you fix a date for this bab dada should fix a date for this bab dada never says when he says now does bab dada ever put anything off to another time he always says now whatever you want to do it now however bab dada is the almighty and because he is the almighty he would say now however children are used to the habit of only doing something sometimes this is why bab dada asks the children when will you fix a date for this you say that you will do it at some time and so the father also says when now according to the time everyone have everyone has to have an attitude of unlimited disinterest however bab dada feels that the time should not become the children's teacher since the father is your teacher to become something according to the time means to make the time your teacher your marks will be reduced in this even now some children see time will teach us time will change us all the souls of the world will change according to the time but you children must not wait for the time do not make time your teacher you are the master world teachers of the teacher of the world you are creators time is the creation therefore o creator souls do not make your creation your teacher father brahma did not make the time his teacher he had unlimited disinterest from be- from the beginning to the end you saw how he used his body mind and wealth from the beginning and did not have the slightest attachment 
the words that emerged naturally of his body were this is baba's chariot he never thought this is my body no this is baba's chariot i am feeding baba's chariot not i am eating he had unlimited disinterest in his body his mind was man mana bhav anyway he used his money but never thought or even said my money is being used he never mentioned that his money was being used or that he used his wealth he said this is baba's bhandara it is the bhandara of bholanath baba he never considered his money to be his own or used anything worth even a rupee on himself he became responsible for the kumaris and the mothers he willed everything to the kumaris and mothers and didn't have the slightest consciousness of mind he never used any time or breath on himself but maintained an attitude of unlimited disinterest even in that although he had everything even nature was his servant he never used any extra facilities for him he constantly maintained an ordinary life he never used anything special for himself until the end even his clothes were of the same type he didn't change his dress code he had the buildings built for the children but he didn't use it himself even when the children requested him to do so he heard it but remained beyond while constantly seeing the children's love the words that emerged all the time were everything is for the children so this is known as having an attitude of unlimited disinterest in one's practical life at the end even though the children were in front of him and he was holding their hands did he have any attachment he had an attitude of unlimited disinterest even though the children the loving children and the most special beloved children were in front of him he had unlimited disinterest you saw the evidence of the attitude of going beyond and having unlimited disinterest in a second he had just the one concern to do service service and service he remained detached and beyond all other things this is known as having unlimited disinterest now according to the time let your attitude of unlimited disinterest emerge unless you have an attitude of unlimited disinterest you are unable to do the service of giving powerful sakash therefore follow the father put aside the aspect of the incorporeal one in the physical form you had father brahma although he had all the facilities for all physical attainments he was responsible for all the children and he had to face all the adverse situations and problems he was able to pass he claimed the certificate of passing with honors the main reason for this was that he maintained an attitude of unlimited disinterest at this time there are subtle attachments of golden chains there is a lot of deep and subtle attachment many children are not even able to understand when they have attachment they do not realize when something is an attachment 
दे थिंक दिस विल हैपन इन ई वे दिस विल कंटिन्यू ऑल द टाइम दे डो नॉट फील दैट दे हैव टू बिकम फ्री फ्रॉम इट हाउ एवर दिस विल कंटिन्यू ऑल द टाइम द मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ अटैचमेंट डो नॉट अलाउ यू टू बिकम वन हु हैज़ अनलिमिटेड डिस इंटरेस्ट यू वॉन्ट टू बिकम दिस एंड यू ऑल्सो थिंक आई वॉन्ट टू बिकम दिस हाउ एवर द डिज़ायर टू बिकम दिस इज नॉट बैलेंसड विथ एक्चुअली बिकमिंग इट द डिज़ायर इज ग्रेटर द एक्चुअल प्रैक्टिस इज लेस आई डेफिनेटली हैव टू डू दिस This attitude of disinterest has not yet emerged. It emerges every now and then, and it then merges again. It will happen in time anyway, but you will not be able to pass with honors. You will pass, but not pass with honors. The speed of time is very fast, and the speed of efforts is slow. you are making big efforts but you become bound by subtle attachments when bab dada hears the children's song we want to fly to you he also wants to make you fly but he even wonders whether your attachment will allow you to fly or whether you will be neither here nor there now according to the time become free from attachments become those with unlimited disinterest you should have disinterest in your minds the disinterest that comes as a result of a program is only for a temporary period check your subtle attachments the gross aspects have now finished some children are free from gross attachments but the subtle attachments are very subtle so much so that they are not able to know about them about this themselves check check very deeply in the mirror of completion check your attachments give this gift to the father brahma on his day of remembrance you have love for him and so what does one do out of love one gives a gift so give this gift let go of anything holding you to the shores and become free bab dada is happy that you children have zeal and enthusiasm and that you also have very good thoughts for self progress now fulfill those thoughts acha today there is a gathering of special teachers this celebration is taking place as a return of your service bab dada is happy that you children are receiving the fruit of service that you are celebrating and eating the fruit of the service you have been successful in service number wise and will continue to be successful acha to all the loving children merged in love everywhere in this land and abroad to the extremely close souls who are constantly merged in love for the father the ocean of love to the elevated souls who constantly inculcate the specialities of father brahma into their practical lives to those who are free from making effort and experience pleasure and fly with god's love to those who put into practice the thought of becoming equal to the father to the children who are merged in the heart of baba the comforter of hearts on this special day today please accept multi million fold love 
and remembrance from Father Brahman. Bab Dada constantly stays in the heart of the children. Although he lives in the settled region, he is also in the hearts of the children. So, to the children who have merged such a father into their hearts, Bab Dada gives platefuls of pearls of Bab Dada's love. Remembrance and Namaste. Sing, may you be an enlightened soul who makes the seed of each thought constantly powerful. Together with listening of knowledge and speaking knowledge also become an embodiment of knowledge. An embodiment of knowledge means to be one whose every thought word and deed is powerful and for whom all waste has finished where there is power there cannot be anything wasteful just as light and darkness cannot coexist so knowledge is light and waste is darkness therefore an enlightened soul means one whose every seed of thought is powerful. The words, deeds and relationships of those whose thoughts are powerful easily become powerful. Slogan In order to go into the Sun Dynasty clan, be yogis, not warriors. Om Shanti With avyakta silence, Experience the double light angelic stage. While having double responsibility, remain double light. By being double light, you will not be tired by your worldly responsibilities because you are a trustee. How can a trustee become tired? If you think that it is your household or family, it becomes a burden. None of it is yours. So how can it be a burden? You are completely detached and loving. A child and a master. Om Shanti. Thank you, Baba. Thank you.